If you want to generate a animations, cartoon animations, cinematic videos without spending any money, so you guys are at the right place. Because in this video, I'm gonna share a free AI tool that allows you to generate unlimited videos without any subscription, without any daily credits. And I'm also gonna share some settings that you can implement to get the best results out of it. So without any further delay, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so first of all, just go to the Pika Art website and this AI tool is called Pika Labs. Maybe you guys have already heard about this tool. So just scroll down a little bit and click on that join beta and you guys will be redirected to their discord account. Okay, so once you have joined their discord account on the left side, you can see we have multiple channels. So you can select any of them. Let's say I'm going to select this one. This AI tool offers you two features, text to video and image to video. So first of all, we're going to test text to video. So just type forward slash and click on that create prompt. So let's say I'm going to give it a prompt, a cute teddy bear dancing in Amsterdam. Okay, so it doesn't take much time to generate the video. And this is our video output. And you can see the teddy bear is dancing in the video. So if you don't satisfy with the results, you can always click on that regenerate button because we don't have any limitations here. Okay, so this one is the second video that it generated and you can see a very smooth transition in it. And this one is the third video. This one is also looking good video, not bad actually. And this one is the last video that it generated. Now moving towards the image to video, again, type forward slash and click on that more button and you can see we have an option to upload our image. So click on that and now upload the image that you want to generate. Okay, so I have selected this image because I want to generate a cartoon animation. So you have to enter a prompt because we can leave the prompt area blank as we did in Runway ML. Okay, so I gave it a prompt, a surprise cartoon with moving hairs, highly detailed. And you can see I have entered some values at the end of the prompt. So what these values are, I'm going to explain it later. So just click on that generate. Okay, so these are the results that it generated. And I would say these are pretty decent results. But the only problem is the video is only three seconds long. So if you want to increase the length of the video, you can watch my previous video where I shared a technique to increase the length of your videos. Okay, so now let's talk about these values to control the videos. First, we have HyperGS and second, we have HyperMotion. And the values for HyperGS varies from 1 to 100 and for HyperMotion, we have values from 1 to 4. So let me show you with an example what it does. Okay, so in this prompt, I set the GS values to 5 and this is the result out of it. So the GS values decide how much motion will be applied on the main subject of the video. And in this video, you can see we have a very smooth motion on the main subject. And this is the result from the GS10 values. And you can see we have much motion on the object also on the background. So these are the results from GS15. This one is also looking really good, right? And these are the results from GS value 20. And you can see there is a lot of movement on the background and on the main subject. And these are the results from GS value 25. And you can see there are a lot of things happening on the main subject of the video. Okay, so now you understand that GS value decides how much motion will be applied on the main subject of the video. And if we talk about the motion, we have four values for motion, motion one, two, three, and four. And in this example, I set the motion values on two, and these are the results from motion value two. As you can see, the movement of the train on the background, yes, it does affect the main subject of the video, but mainly it focuses on the movement of the scene. And if you want to get the best results out of it, I would prefer you to use the GS values between 5 to 15 and the motion values from 1 to 2. Like in this example, I used GS value 5 and the motion value 1. And you can see a train movement on the background and also a very smooth movement on the subject of this video. So I also have a couple of examples with the same settings with GS value 5 and motion value 1. And you can see very smooth movement, very smooth animation. So the conclusion is, Upload a high quality image, keep the values low and make sure to use highly detailed keyword in your prompt because it also impacts the quality of your video. And don't be afraid of experimenting different settings because we don't have any limitations here. So just keep on trying, keep on changing the values until you get the best results out of it. So that's it from this video. And if you guys are in a space of AI, make sure to subscribe Planet AI and I'll see you in the next one.